Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from Paisley Drekdahl from her collection Imaginary Vessels, published by Copper Canyon Press in 2016. Uh, this is about midway through the collection and is entitled Saturdays at Reynolds Work Release. I remember never being afraid, because they said the crimes they committed were small, because when they locked each man alone in the room with me, nineteen, thin as a child, beside the smallest of them, with his book and pads of paper and sharpened pencils, only a tiny window that looked out into the hall where no guards stood, I could see the boredom and the shyness on their faces, these men fresh from prison, but still waiting in one building in Pioneer Square, in Seattle, in winter, where every Saturday it rained, a fact we hardly saw ourselves, but heard in the drumming against the roof's beams and in the wet squeak of someone's souls down the hall, where I would teach them words they would or would not use, going over with one man who was twenty-five, but read, as well as a fourth grader, pages of Genesis so he could learn the terms firmament and plenitude, his agate eyes flicking over pages that looked recently unearthed phrases to be practiced at his new job, which was to drive a forklift for Weyerhaeuser because it was the Bible he wanted first, as another man wanted Louis L'Amour, and a third asked for the back issues of time someone left in AA on the chairs. It was not frightening, no, not even when one man said he'd made tapes of letters that he would send me, recordings of his thoughts that spooled in the dark in the dormitory where he couldn't sleep, its locked doors but open windows, the insomniac moon peering in on the skinny desk clerk who checked him in or out, who called the CO if he missed a meeting, learning to move from bed to work to group to lights out, but not to outside the building to stand alone and smoke a cigarette. What did he feel those nights, listening to the rain a wall away, the cars that drove by in the dark, each steered by someone smoking, singing, driving, until morning came with its cramped room, its yellow book to stutter over, firmament, the men spelled out, plenitude, gunslinger, working until the locked door rattled open, and I got out, got up because it was time for me to leave, the sounds of cafes and movie theaters welling up behind me, so close, I told them, when they got a word less wrong, as if discipline made a difference, stopping only when one man, furious, slammed a hand to the table and began crying. And even then, I wasn't scared, because I didn't have to be, listening to the thread of the sentence he hadn't finished. Brother, he'd begun, these shall rise again, while the rain spat unseen outside our building. Um, that was Paisley Rectal um, from Imaginary Vessels, uh, Copper Canyon Press, 2016. Um, if you would like to learn more about uh, Paisley's work, please uh, read the description. There's a uh, link's uh, description, her bio, and as well as a link to where you can purchase the book. Um, and uh, if you enjoy this series, please consider uh, liking this video, subscribing to the channel, checking back often. We have uh, new content every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Um, and I'm always open to suggestions. If you have poets or poems that you would like to have read, on here, feel free to contact me and make that suggestion, and I'll see what I can do about putting it into the schedule. Um, and uh, in general, I hope you're doing well and uh, staying safe and staying healthy out there um, and finding things to do um, creatively and imaginatively, um, enjoying the beauty and the wonder um, that language brings us. Um, I'm grateful uh, for it and grateful for um, opportunities to share it with you, and uh, I look forward to doing more in the future. So, um, I'm Neil Aiken, and this is the Hermit Poetry Series, and we'll be back again very soon with more poetry. Um, 
stay in touch. Uh, let me know if there's anything you need. Uh, well, at least in terms of poetry. I'll see what I can do. And uh, if you have suggestions, ideas, or comments, always open to, to hearing from you. And until next time, uh, stay safe, stay well, and stay engaged in the good work of writing and creating art, as well as um, immersing yourself in the beauty of language um, and image and finding ways to build bridges with those around you. Um, and until next time, goodbye.